Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Variant 6, Chapter 2, Quest 2, the final quest in Chapter 2. Uh, you can see the team that I'm going in here with. You may notice a little difference. I brought Annihilus along, and uh, you'll see why. But this quest has been actually nerfed. That path all the way to the right used to be what's yours is mine and it was horrible people were spending revives on it and kabam actually removed it uh it was not intended uh the way that it was so they took it all the way out can't be mad at them all right so these are the active buffs that we're going to be dealing with uh that overlord is probably the only one that you're going to be really interested in um if you have a villain that can nullify this particular quest wasn't as fun as the others for me uh because doom is not suicide friendly and i chose to do this entire thing with my suicides on but that means that i cannot do the normal doom rotation without spending a lot of uh health potions at the very least okay so what you see me here is I'm playing the best way that I know how. I'm still new to Doom in the first place. And I'm trying to uh, practice with him, but I'm not able to practice that rotation without really killing myself. Because, as I said, he's not suicide friendly. So I'm pretty much fighting sort of normal. I'm working my way to a special three. And what I want to do here, I want to get him to a, a special two. But he fired his special one off. All right, so you see I'm just going in there. And I'm hoping that I can get him to a special uh, two here. There we go. And so now I want to get a little bit of practice. Okay, so we're firing off the special three. And then afterwards, we're going to do a medium, medium. And then uh, I think I did a medium, light, light, light. So medium, 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 medium. And then some light attacks. All right, and you see it does a power drain. Now, I have another special one already set and ready to go, but I would have taken a lot of recoil damage, and he was already about to go to sleep. So I didn't uh, choose to just waste my uh, health. So, yeah, that, that particular rotation wasn't, you know, the best Doom rotation there, uh, but... We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll we'll keep practicing with him. Uh, I've seen him in action, so I know his power. Uh, but definitely more for those who do not run suicides. All right. But even running suicides, as you can see, he's still quite effective. He hits really hard. He still has that high crit resistance, so he's very very um, tanky. And you can uh, uh, take shock paths with him since he's shock immune now i was a little concerned about this particular fight because venom likes to be very aggressive at times and depending on what ai you get you'll be in the corner and he just won't throw his special and i was also worried because i couldn't remember i think it's tech that cannot drain him because i've gotten wrecked that way you know i thought i was going to drain his power and he stayed at a special three and wrecked me so here, I was like, okay, I want to try to get to a special three again. And I wanted to see if I could drain his power since I'm not a tech. Okay, so you see here, uh, I'm trying to hold a little bit. All right, see, here we go. So now I pushed him to a special two. And I'm firing off my special three. And we're going to test it out. We're going to try and see if we can't do it. All right, so there we go. That does a lot of damage by itself, all right? And then we medium, 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 light, 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 and then fire off that special one. We're at a special one again. Fire off another special one, and we're right there again. Fire off another special one, and we're there again. And we just decided to finish him off because we could have done another special one. So that was a good test. That was the Doom rotation that I've seen. And can you imagine if you're not running suicides and you're just spamming that like that? That is awesome. 
Okay, so a little taste of what Doom could do. But you don't see me fighting like that with him because look at my health, you know? Um, but I love my suicides and uh, I very reluctantly will remove them. Uh, if I'm going up against like a void boss or something like that and I don't have any other option, then I will remove them to do that fight. And then I'll try to do as many of them as possible so I only have to change my masteries once. All right, so here we go against um, Medusa here. And I thought, and I'm not sure why it wasn't working, I thought I could keep her from getting living strands by just keeping the stagger on her. But she played a little bit uh, loosey-goosey. And uh, I didn't keep the stagger, and so she was able to uh, get those living strands, but it doesn't matter because the style that I'm using to fight her uh, is, you know, just parry heavy anyway. Much like I would have done if I was fighting with my Corvus. Now, you could attack her and she'll auto block, but because she doesn't have the parry mastery, she's not going to stun you. So you could do that, you know. But when I fight, I like to fight the way that I normally would fight, regardless of things like that, so that I stay in practice. Okay? So down goes Medusa to Doom. Hurt though he is, he's still putting him away. All right, now this guy here, I absolutely hate fighting him because I almost unconsciously go for parries. And when he has an armor up and you parry, that stun gets reflected back to you. Okay, so I switched over to Magneto, all right? Now that, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, okay? But we got back, he didn't punish it. And so I'm thinking, all right, every time he does that, I can get a, a you know heavy attack off, okay? But look at this, I'm already in the corner now. That's not where I wanted to be. So I'm trying to get him away from me here, but he's on me, he's on me, all right? So I'm pushing him away. Now I want him to fire off that special too. And there we go. And even though it was in my block, it hurt. Now I fired that off, but it didn't really do a whole lot. And there we go. And he's unstoppable again. And he's just on me. And I'm doing all I can to try and get away from him. And I'm just like, okay, we, we, we got this. We should have this, all right? And boom, that time I wasn't so lucky. And then I ran right into his foot. You know, I panicked after that um unstoppable and he just wrecked me like that and i was like oh man i need to go get away from this wall do as much damage as i can and he was waiting for me with that mighty foot so down went magneto and i was just like okay now i could have just used uh doom on this fight but since he was already hurt i was like you know i don't want to do that and then look at this wrecked again wrecked a second time in a row so at this point i really should put the game down and just relax and rest a little bit but doom and magneto are gone but guess who i got i got ghost so even with those nodes i wasn't really taking advantage of the you know overload node anyway all right now look at this what was that I don't know, but we got out of the way and I'm just like, is is my game starting to slow down? Do I need to reset it? What's going on, okay? But we came back and we finished him off without getting wrecked. Um, and Ghost, by the way, could also have done this entire path. All right, so now we've got Scarlet Witch. The thing about Scarlet Witch, especially when you're fighting against her, uh, she has high sig and she likes to put poisons and uh, heal blocks on you but Ghost doesn't care about all that okay so with Ghost sometimes you want to fire off a couple of attacks because if she does put a poison you can then phase it and get more uh, damage so just a little 
technique that you might use. Other than that, you want to take as many hits as you can, as you see me taking, and then boom, finish her off. Pretty, pretty straightforward and easy if you're comfortable with playing Ghost. If you haven't seen my video, shameless plug, uh, go check it out on my channel, Ghost Guide. Um, I try to go pretty in depth uh, about Ghost. So if you are looking to get better with Ghost, just learn more about her, uh, give the video a look. If you already know a lot about her, then you just need to practice and get used to her, okay? But hopefully there's something for everybody in that video. All right, now we're fighting War Machine. Now, I do not like War Machine for one simple reason. He will fire off his special one no matter what. He'll be across the room. Doesn't matter, okay? You could be blocking and it doesn't matter. All right, so you see here, I'm firing that off and I'm expecting to take some damage and he actually fired it off right away. So I was able to phase it. A lot of times he won't, he'll wait a little bit. Okay, so I was very happy about that. Um, very fortunate. Okay, we phased again. He did not fire the special uh, one. So I'm like, woo, this is going pretty well. Even at this point, if he fires off his special two, that's the easier one to evade. And then boom, we finished it with a special one. No one said you had to finish the fight with a special two even though the special two is her bread and butter. He was low enough that that special one could finish him. And you can't phase out your recoil damage when you do the special one. Something else I mentioned in my video. All right, so now we have cleared the path and we're going up against probably one of the easiest bosses to fight. Now, remember, this is my first time in here and uh, I've since cleared and explored uh, this particular quest. But take a look at the buffs. You have the Overlord, you have the Tyrant, and, and he's aggressive, which is good, um, and all that good stuff. You know, super special, superior specials rather, Optimus. None of that makes Drax any really more difficult to fight, honestly. All right, so I'm going in here and I'm going to soften him up. That's all I'm doing. Because again, this is my first go around against this guy. And so I want to do as much damage as possible at Waps. She's gonna die, okay? I was surprised that that didn't do more damage when he hit me like that. Very surprised at that, okay? Look at that, boom! 17K crit to close it out. That's the way you go out. That's what I'm talking about. No regrets. If you're wondering, yes, that is a rank three six star wasp. Uh, that is how I became Thronebreaker. Uh, there's a video on my channel about that uh, if you missed it and the subsequent crystal openings. All right, now I'm going in here with Annihilus. Why? Because we brought him. Got to use him, right? Uh, now he does have a synergy with Doom that gives Doom guaranteed crits on his heavy attack. Uh, so that was really the main reason I wanted to bring him in. And then here, I was doing my usual softening up, you know, bring in my other champions to do as much damage, and then bring in my best counters and take him out. But you don't actually need any specific counters for this guy. If they're a villain, you can take him out. Uh, during my exploration, I have one-shot him with the hood. I actually one-shot him with Annihilus, one-shot him with Ghost. So, um, any, any champion that you uh, wanna bring in can do it, all right? So, look at that, he's almost gone. And he's down. So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully this video helps you out when you do your initial clear. That is the goal is to just do a little quick walkthrough, let you see the nodes, see what path I chose as the easiest path for me, and maybe it'll be your easy path as well. So take care, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.